All right, guys, this just came in the mail as part of a trade. Uh, it's a Yale Y221 52mm lock, heavily shielded. Check this out. This is actually aluminum, but look how thick that is. No one is going to be cutting through that or getting at that shackle eh, in any short amount of time. A um, couple things I like about it. First of all, I do love that thick shielding, but otherwise, uh, it's got a rubber bumper here. It's got some kind of rubberized coating, a little weather cover. But take a look at this. The lock itself is inset inside of the weather cover about three-eighths of an inch. So it's going to be difficult to try to get a pick in there and get feel. You're going to need a, like an extra long pick. Um, the other thing is this keyway. Take a look at that. It is a typical Yale, but nice curved tail on the top of that thing. You really got to go around a corner. It forces you to pick kind of from that ledge there using a really thin shaft, a Euro-style shaft. Here's what the bidding looks like on this thing. So the bidding is not bad either. Let me take a close look at that myself. So you got a really high cut one right here, hiding behind a couple low cuts. So getting in that narrow keyway around that curve to reach that one might be a little bit of trouble. Uh, it does work beautifully. Take a look at the shaft here, though. Um, notice this is rubberized coating, and it's got a hard plastic thing right there to keep you, theoretically, from shimming it. But when you open this dude up, you notice you got that ledge, so you, you can't shim it without removing all of that. And even if you do, you got a rounded cutoff. It's a ball bearing lock. You can't really take it apart, I don't think. No, I don't think so. I think this these screws just remove the the shielding. So there's no way to get in here. It's not rekeyable, anything like that. So very cool lock. Got a lot of things going for it. Let's see if we can stop flapping our lips and maybe get this thing picked. All right, I know the red one is too thick. Uh, let me try the blue one. It's a minor color-coded red, white, and blue in terms of thickness, and then yellow. So that'll help you decide which thickness you want to use. So the blue one seems to seems to fit, and I've got to use that long end. I'll tell you what, let me let me use the yellow one because that blue one was kind of acting like he wanted to fall out. That ought to work. All right, it goes from 1.2 millimeters all the way uh, all the way down to I think the yellow one is 0.6, so every 0.2 millimeters. And I just color code them, make it easy to grab the right one. All right, I need a really thin shafted Euro style pick. Let me grab this guy. This is my multi pick, and it is the V07, Victor 07. It's the Euro profile, real thin shaft this way, and you can tell by the blue band, it's 15 thousandths of an inch thick. So hopefully, I'll be able to bend it around that curve. So let's try it. I'm going to pick it kind of an angle. Let's see what we've got here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. <clears throat> All right, let me get these thin tensioners make it hard to find the right amount of tension. So I'm going to just go when it starts to bend a little bit. And that is hardly any tension at all. And I'm looking for a binder if I can get around that corner. Kind of hard because the picks are going to drag in these yales. I had a little click there on pin two. That was pin one. And well, I may have to find a thinner pick, guys. This thing is really dragging around that. That was pin two again. I felt a slight turn on the core. That was pin three. I felt some more. So I have a false set, and I'm starting to think that maybe there are spools in this. Let's find out. Let's find... I'm going to really lighten up on the tension here because I want to be able to detect counter-rotation. If you have too much tension, you won't find it. That's counter-rotation on four. Very slight. Come on, come on. Well, I don't want to force it. Let's see if somebody up front... There we go, pin one, and there we go. So I detected only two spools in this guy, but we definitely have an open. Not a bad little lock. I really do like all the design features that went into this thing. I really like the style of the keyway. I just wish that... It'd been a little bit harder to pick, but anyway, you got what you got. 
the Yale Y221 52mm shielded padlock. Appreciate your time, guys. Stay safe, stay legal, and stick around. Let's have a little giveaway. Um, what I do have is one of these guys from LearnLockPicking.com. I already cut this open to save a little bit of time. These are training locks for those of you guys who've never seen them before. This is the 7-pin version. So it's got a little bit of a paracentric style keyway, make it a little more difficult. You can pin it up progressively, start with, say, two pins, and as you get that, pin up three, then four, then fall the way up to seven. You got a variety of different pins to train yourself with. You got standard pins, and I think if you look in the bag, you can see there's some serrated pins, some T-pins, and I think there's even some spools in there. Yeah, there's some spools there too, right there. Anyway, you got a little bit of everything along with a bunch of repair parts. You got a key to key it up with, and of course, all the plugs to hold all the guts in place. This will be the giveaway, and I've got one more thing. It doesn't really go with that lock, but it's from Sparrows. It's brand new. Just got this in. This is a, if I can get it open here, a brand new Black Flag Dimple Pick Kit. So that will be the giveaway this week. That lock, that, and the training lock from LearnLockPicking.com. Appreciate your time, guys. Stay safe. Stay legal. Stay well. Thanks, guys. All you need to do is navigate to LockLab.com, the tribal website, and scroll down in the middle of the page. You'll see all the giveaway buttons, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But the one you're looking for is the Weekend Review Giveaway, Purple Band. Just click on it. It'll take you to the registration page. Again, scroll to the bottom, put in a good email address. So if you win, I can get in touch with you, let you know. Put in a username, doesn't matter what it is, and click Submit. When you're done, you'll get a green check mark confirming your entry. Thanks, guys.